Hi, my name is Sean Olson. This is a demonstration of using Shelvex, one of Wallworm's new level design plugins for 3ds Max. To demonstrate Shelvex, I've started the scene here with two pieces of geometry. These are two Corvex objects, which is another plugin from Wallworm. And in it, we've basically made the playable space of a game, such as like Counter-Strike or Insurgency or games like that. And each of these areas with blue on top represent basically large rooms, large empty areas, and these uh, long corridors here are just paths between them. However, at the moment, these represent the playable area, the volume of where we want to play. What Shelvex does is allow us to take that kind of geometry and basically place blocks all the way around it so that we don't have to build all of that. So all we did was build the, the paths and areas that you're going to play in, and now we're going to use Shelvex to, to block it in, to seal it up with brushes. I say brushes because brushes are what the Source Engine calls block primitives that uh, seal up the game. So what I'm going to do now is add a Shelvex object to our scene. I'm going to go to the parameters over here and set some of the things that I know that I want for this. So I'm going to start by opening up the Materials option here, and I'm going to turn on to use side 5 and the reason I'm using this value is because I have a material, multi-material, where um, 5 represents sections that I want a specific material on it instead of being derived from the model. Now I'm going to pick my objects so there's two Corvex objects in here so I'm going to add both of these to the list of objects. Now you'll notice that there are blocks all the way around it. You'll also notice a bunch of no draw, that's the texture that I placed on the exterior angles. I want this to extrude out. So now you see there's all these blocks all the way around our whole scenario, our whole scene here. So if I isolate this object, I can go inside here and you can see that I have I've got the negative space is blocked out. Now there are some things that I also wanted to add here to further limit this. I do not want this um, to use certain material IDs to generate blocks so this is going to exclude creating blocks from some of the IDs from the original object. So I know that that's 2 and 5 for what I want here. So now that I did that I only have blocks being created from the places that I really wanted it to create. Now we have places like this where we have overlapping faces here. Uh, depending on what you're doing, you may have to edit those. You may have be able to use textures like no draw or skip um, in games like Source to be able to, it will just ignore these, but those are game dependent things. But now we have this, we have this environment that's fully blocked out, fully sealed in, and it's controlled by the underlying geometry. What that means is, if I go back here, if I actually go back to the original objects, for example, the Corvex hallways, if I chose to make all of these taller, this is the geometry underneath, the hallway is getting taller so all the brushes are automatically matching it all the way around. So if I type in a value like 512, which is really big for this, but you'll see that all the brushes matched it. So if I go back and isolate our Shelvex object, you'll see that we have the negative space of that Corvex and we have these brushes all the way around it. Of course I don't want this. <laughs> um, I'll put these all back to the height that they should be for this setup. And now all the brushes fell back down into the correct place. So this is demonstration one of using Shelvex and we'll have a little bit more of some other scenarios in the next video. You can get Shelvex at wallworm.com. Thank you.